Hello, welcome back to Snappy Gurus. In today's video, we'll be covering the health system. Uh, if you haven't watched the stamina system previously, I'd highly recommend watching that as we'll be going off of what we did in the previous video. So to start off with, we're going to head over to the characters, players, strikes, and open this up. So currently we currently have stamina, we're going to add a new variable called health. This will be set to a float data type. Save that, and then we're going to go ahead and over to the enums. I'm going to create a new enumeration value. So we go to blueprints, enumeration, and let's call this E underscore stat. Open this up. We're going to create new two enumerators, one called stammer and the second one called health. I'm going to save that and close. Now we can go over to the player components stats component and actually we're going to go to the UI also and go to stats player stats open this up so we're going to duplicate this stamina bar by pro pressing ctrl w and just moving it to the right of the stamina bar and we're going to call this pb underscore health bar after doing that, I'm just going to change the brush. So if we go to style, fill image, tint, and change this to a green, like that, we should be good to go. Now on the percent, we're going to bind that to a new function. I'm going to call this get health percent, and we can change the stamina one to get stamina percent. We're going to do the same as we did for the stamina percentage, so we're just going to normalize the value. So normalize to range, the value being the max health, oh no, the health percentage. So we're going to promote the value to a variable and call this health percent. Set this to instance editable and expose on spawn and do the same for the range max. So change this to stamina max so max health and we're going to set that to instance editable and expose on spawn now this should be everything we should need for the widget we can close out of this now then within the stats component we're actually going to change the uh, function which we made for the modified stamina so for this what we're going to do is we're going to actually rename this function called modify stamina to modify stat and we're going to go ahead and offer the exec pin let's just quickly drag this over real quick off of the exec pin we're going to get the switch on e underscore stat and we're going to get the selection and plug that into the modify stat we're going to quickly bump this up real quick using the arrows and a rename selection to stat from there, we can bring the select these three nodes back a little bit as we're going to be using this for health as well. And I'm just going to make this a bit more organized. So using reroute nodes, this a little back, just to make it look all pretty and presentable. Right, from there, what we can do is we can go ahead and work on the health. So we're going to drag out of here. I'm going to go out and grab the set player that like so split this struct really add a reroute node and what we're going to do is for the stamina we're just going to grab the on the do not set the changeables player stats grab that and split the struct stamina can go straight into stamina as we're not going to be manipulating that for health and then from here we can get the addition operator off of the health and then plug that in to the select return value. Once we've done that we can go ahead and clamp this value float with the max being the max health and I don't know if we already have this I don't believe we do so what we can do is right click promote to variable set this to max health compile that and then for max health let's just have this at a default of 100 
So if, once we finish that, we can connect that to the help. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the widget reference. Hold control and drag. And this can be setting the uh, health percent. Connect that up to there. So from this, what we want to grab is the player stats again. Split the strike. And then for the stamina percent, we can actually delete that. We could delete that and then go ahead and connect stamina and health into there. And that should work quite nicely. Let's make this a bit more organized. Right, once we've done that, we're going to get a, uh, a less than or equals to zero. So this is to check if the play is dead. We're going to grab a branch, so if you hold B and like click, it will create a branch, or you can obviously right click and type branch. We're going to then create an event dispatcher called player dead, or actually no, damage player. We can call that and then just call it there on true. If false, we're going to get a return node. And after this, we can plug this into the return node at the top. So from there, what we can do now is I believe we need to change some of this. So let's have a look. So the health here can be plugged straight into health. Let's add a rewrite node. Like so. Also, gonna add a rerun node there. And this is looking pretty much done. So, from there, we can compile it and save. And if we just go back to the event graph, now you'll see that on the modify stat from the handle stamina, we have the new refresh function. So, it's currently set to stamina, so this is totally fine. Um, everything will be the same as before, but if you wanted to change the health, now it's now it's working so what we can do is go to the player character so let's go characters players third person character and let's say we wanted to test out the health so let's get the k key and locate that so k for kill and then grab the stats component and call for the modify stat so the good thing with using this single uh, function is the fact that we can now modify both stats throughout the single function. So let's go health, decrease, and set this to something like 25. So now if we compile that and play, you'll notice we have the health widget. And if we press K, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I see what the issue is. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and refresh the the, the spawning of the stats widget. So we just refresh the nodes. And from here we can connect max health up. And then for the health percentage that can go in here also. So that should work there. Now we also need to, uh, before I forget, complete the event dispatcher. So this isn't going to do much for now. It's just going to be there for when we focus on killing the player later on. So we're going to bind the um, the event dispatch to an event. So if we go and grab a custom event and call this something like handle player there, we can go ahead and get the movement component and then set this to set movement mode to none. This is just to act as a death, uh, death right now. We'll be changing this a lot later in a, in a new upcoming video. To make it more death like and also include UI, uh, checkpoint systems, etc. But just for now, we're going to have it as this so we can actually test it. So if we go, if we go to the event graph, initial, uh, initial stats, here we go. So if we set max health here, compile that, save, and now it will work fine. So we've got the, the progress bar 100%, press K, or head down on 25 increments and now we can't move because we're dead uh, so yes I know this is a short video <laughs> and a few issues along the way however it's working fine the K button's working death's working everything's working fine like I said previously in the last video you can use this function anywhere you'd like so if you'd like to simulate you know uh, taking damage to the player this would be here we're also recovering the event any damage node uh, in the future 
with including applying damage to the player. Um, but yes, this is all it is for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Quick thing before I end the video, I just like to mention it in case any of you guys were wondering. Uh, animations for the health and stamina where it's changing uh, instead of being so instant. Um, also different UI elements etc. I'll be covering that in later videos too. Uh, just currently we're just trying to get the base and the core down but these type of polishing things will be added later on so no worries about that.